liberal arts is about what it means to be a human. And um, that's what we offer uh, anybody who walks through our doors. And so that's what my courses, personally for me as a teacher, are about, are getting you to look past what you think you know and look into it and find out what you really know. Uh, when you have a liberal arts education, you are broadly trained, you know a lot about a lot of things. You have an emphasis on your writing skills and your speaking skills in particular, and that will help you as you transverse through your career to make those changes and adapt to change as it comes. The biggest thing at Scholastica that I've noticed is the writing because it doesn't matter what you're doing in the real world, is if you can write well, they can teach you the other things. They prepared me to be a good writer and to, to know AP style and to know the ethics behind journalism. Originally, I was just planning on majoring in biology and minoring in Spanish, but I wanted to study abroad too because I knew I wouldn't get an opportunity to travel so cheaply and be able to really learn about a different culture. Being a biology major, I'm really aware of what's going on in the healthcare field as far as the sciences go, but being an arts and letters major as well, gives me the whole other aspect of it so I can think about what's going on socially with those problems, what's going on culturally with different things that are happening. We have uh, programs like the theater program in which we have students who uh, work in the box office and work on the set and build the costumes and act in the plays. And all of those are considered experiential learning as are all of the music ensembles, the band, the drumming groups, the choirs are all experiential. But we also have the traditional internship process as well. I actually took a semester out in Washington DC too as part of my uh, four years at Scholastica and worked for uh, the McLaughlin group as an intern writer. Um, over this past summer, I was an intern with the MLS team Sporting Kansas City, and I was an operations and events intern. Going into public relations or media relations is a good thing because you can choose what you want to do, as I want to go into sports. Having the ability to choose is beneficial to students because when you come into college, you don't know what you want to do at all, so picking a major that you have so much choice in is a good thing. You know, one of the things that we talk about a lot at this point in time in higher education is the idea of active learning. And I think because all of my classes have a discussion component, it, students walk out of there not passive, like I survived that, they walk out having learned something about themselves and about other people, and they actually have learned that they're capable of doing some things they didn't know they could do. Those are the kind of people employers want. And when I was in the private sector, that was the skill I was looking for too. Everybody that I interviewed had the same credentials, but I was looking for people who could synthesize ideas, come up with new ideas, and had a sense of history, a sense of where we all have come from and where we may be going.